Welcome back, everybody. My name is David, and this is It's a Pop Thing. Hope you guys are having a great Funko Pop hunting week. I hope you guys have recovered from Target Con and New York City Comic Con and all those things that have been releasing within the last week. Uh, we're actually a week past uh, New York Comic Con and Target Con and all that stuff, and we are uh, getting close to all the new things that have been releasing. Walmart's doing their, their Funko shops and collector... Um, uh, collector uh, uh, departments in the electronics so make sure you guys start checking those out because they are hitting now um, but uh, we did get a few things I know since I've been here as last I I was talking about doing New York Comic Con and uh, Target Con and all that stuff and so I did I got up at take about I got up at four o'clock a little bit like quarter to four in the morning to get at Target and I got there like a it is dark as you can see guys i am on my way y'all can't see nothing of me um, it, <laughs> it's too early for this bullshit. Um, i'm on my way to target because you know today is target con um i know one person is already at the store uh, another fellow collector a friend um gosh i wish you could see me uh, sorry i'm doc but <laughs> yeah that that'd be a stereotypical black guy you can see my teeth no comments but uh yeah so i'm on my way to target uh because there's three or four um, of the target pops that i want none of them are nyc from target because i don't do uh, rick and morty but um yeah so even though you can't see me that's where i'm headed <laughs> there you are hey that's me and um we're gonna see um who else is here now because that was maybe 25 minutes ago when i was just getting up um to get out here and um it's going to be an interesting morning uh first stop target second stop hot topic although i got some of my stuff off hot top uh, off of hot topic last night so i really don't need to go to hot topic but i i love the hunt and i love being there and see what everybody's doing or i could take some funny videos so uh yeah <laughs> uh then we're gonna go to gamestop uh, because there's stuff that I want today, and then um, the other orders were precautionary, like Spider Woman from Antrim and Earth. Uh, I still be able to get them for the website, but I wanted to get one just in case that didn't go down. I told the people who wanted one from me, uh, you might want to try. And then, of course, their website, just like at SDCC, um, shut down. So, again, this is part one. We will see you at the next spot. Or, or inside Target when they open in two hours or two and a half hours now. Everybody wanted, um, not everybody, there's a lot of people, they had, they had like the Dragon Zor, they had uh, Venomized Loki, um, what else did they have? They had um, uh, uh, the Flock Baloo, Genji, uh, Baby, um, Baby Audrey from Little Hearts. House of Horrors, the black and white Lucy. Now they were tripping because they were in Goliath. Because, like in my stores, the Goliath and the um, there was another one, and uh, I Love Lucy, some of the, the, the stickers weren't correct. They had like the regular uh, colored I Love Lucy with a exclusive sticker, and then they also had this. Which, if you guys bought this and got a, an exclusive sticker on it, it's not an exclusive. I'm sorry, this is not one of them. This is just a common, and um, people were uh, people were uh, out getting that, so and thinking it was exclusive. So that's that's the difference between a collector and a reseller, you know, because they they were just buying things for the sticker, which is unfortunate. But you know what? Yeah, that's our culture now. We have to deal with it and. Um, unfortunately it has to be that way but hey that's what we're going to deal with um, but like I said I hope you guys got everything you wanted so this video is going to be what I got um, and you can see some of the video I'll, I'll put it on one of these sides of me talking um, I think I almost had a wreck getting at 4 o'clock in the morning and getting to Target um, I think I was playing Pokemon Go it's probably my fault but no <laughs> um, uh, you'll see in the video I was talking and driving up to Target and I was expecting um uh more people or since i got this earlier maybe even less people but when i got there i end up being six in line so that kind of uh secured my place to get what i wanted and of course hanging out with all the funko crowd which a lot of them are my friends made some new friends so that's always fun uh, to talk nerd um 
with like-minded individuals. So uh, keep that in mind that the, that the community, uh, as big and growing as it is, uh, th these are opportunities to make connections and make friends and um, you know help each other out if you can. So Target was, uh, my day was Target, Hot Topic, Barnes & Noble, um, GameStop. That's that how I did it. I went Target, then I went to Hot Topic, then I went to, no, I went to Barnes and Noble, then I went to a meeting at work, and then I went to GameStop, and then I went to FYE, and then I went back to Target later on to see what was left. So it was surprising, uh, some things that I didn't know that was gonna be released. Actually, if you look at my Instagram, at it's the pop thing, T-H-A-N-G, you'll see some of the things uh, uh, that I got. I also, I scored, a um, Batman Chase, um, a Batman Pez, Pop Pez Chase, which that was kind of cool. I was able to grab that guy for five bucks. Um, so, uh, so now I have that one. The um, the Captain Crunch I got um, a few weeks ago, and then also uh, the Deadpool that I got a few when they start popping up around town at Hot, from Hot Topic. But uh, but what I got at Target which I think I got more stuff at Target than I got uh, anywhere else. Although I start picking stuff up here and there. And I, I forgot, <laughs> I forgot something else. See, you get what you guys don't know is um, <laughs> I, I have paused this video and started three times, but I'm gonna pause it one more time and grab the last thing that I need. It's magic. <laughs> it's not really I paused the video. Um, I had one more that um, I got in and we'll talk about that as well. But let's start with all of the Target stuff. Um, wow, I got a lot of stuff. We'll start with this girl. It was the I Love Lucy, black and white, um, from the comment set, which you can see what was available up there which I've done some rearranging. Up there is the Barnes & Noble Factory Lucy black and white exclusive. And this is the black and white version of um, the regular uh, I Love Lucy uh, Funko Pop. So the, also some of these I've seen Ricky, the Ricky's had, the Ricky's in the color version had the, um, uh, had the Target exclusive stickers on. I'm like, don't be fooled y'all. Don't, don't, don't fall for it. But, you know, people fell for it. I think I seen them on eBay for like 30 and 40 bucks. So, um, I was hoping nobody would, um, fall for the funk, but I think some people did. Um, so that was I Love Lucy. And then, oh, let's see, that was a mail call. Uh, cause some of these start going on sale at um uh on amazon there was like a week before amazon had started putting these on sale and then like the day before early in the afternoon evening um they start putting um them on sale as well so i was able to get one of those in new york comic con exclusive but there's another one and i don't know why everybody sleeps on akeem but akeem has been slept on and people are not feeling him for some reason but I like coming to America. That is part of my childhood. So now my set is complete because I have Simi, I have the regular Prince Akeem, I have the Funko Shop, ex Funko Shop exclusive um, Randy Watson, and then I also have the Gold Target exclusive Akeem. So this set is complete. They didn't have the vinyls. The vinyls are supposed to be at New York Comic Con. Um, on Target's website, they're saying that it's coming soon um, along with the um, the twins uh, coming soon. That was a rock candy, but they haven't they haven't went live yet. So we'll see what's up with that. This shirt is really irritating me. Um, we'll see what's up with that. I, get a I had chili today. Why was there chili on my shirt? Lord, that's a chili stain. Oh well. Uh, so um, there is uh, Prince Akeem, the uh, in his McDowell outfit. So if you haven't seen that movie, it is really funny. I did see Eddie Murphy is getting a lot of pop figures because um, I did see where trading spaces, trading places, uh, they are having pops. I'm not gonna have it on our website, but um, you guys should be able to get those because they'll be 
everywhere because they're all commons. There's nothing exclusive about those. Um, and then the last tar well, the last tar target one I got. The last Target one that we, no, second to last Target one, was the Baby Audrey. I haven't taken this one out, so I'm gonna do that now because I haven't looked at it. And this is from the Little Horror, little Shop of Horror set. These ended up going away fast. Like, uh, I still have some in order for the site that are still on back order because they didn't expect, it was the Audrey, the big Audrey plant in the chase. They didn't expect it to go, um, to, to do as well as it did, so. Shame on you, Funko. But anyhow, and this is, it feels metal. I can't, but maybe it's not. But there is, which I absolutely love, has coffee on it. The little um, can that Seymour first had the Audrey plant in, uh, this is that uh, cup. It's smaller than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a bigger one, but if it's gonna be the baby Audrey, I understand um, the size. But uh, that was a good one. So if you guys didn't pick that up, I know Target, and these are Target exclusive. They had nothing to do with uh, New York Comic Con, so maybe they will be restocked. I know they went live online, uh, I think last week. Um, so maybe uh, you guys, if you didn't get Baby Audrey, or any of the other ones, maybe you'll be able to get them again. And then last but not least, this is my favorite, um, well, not favorite now, you, you fit. One of my favorite Venomized Pops. I told myself I wasn't gonna get this whole collection, um, but to, yesterday I completed it, and you guys will see that. Uh, but the Venomized Loki was the hot commodity of the day, other than the Dragon Zord, which you know I don't, I don't collect any of the Power Ranger stuff, um, but the Venomized Loki, I'm not gonna take him out. Um, this pop is just, crazy um, uh, it's just crazy in the amount of detail that's in this guy there's the back with him on it and all the commons um, has spider symbol on the chest his scepter even has a tongue coming out the tongue I'm gonna do a, a complete collection video of um, all my venomized pops uh, but this guy was a uh, a good one to get. I wish I had a second one because some of the boxes weren't all that great and this box wasn't all that great, but uh, it's in protector now so you can't really see the flaws in it. Um, but yeah, this was, glad to get the Venomized Loki. Uh, that was a, a good get. So that ended my Target con um, and then we popped over to Hot Topic, which this one's another one people slept on. Probably, if, if you talk about boxes, probably my favorite box out of all of them just because of the the, the shining, shininess, is that a word? You can see it glittering around my face. The shiny, shiny, it, shiny. Shiny-ish, shiny shiny yes. But I don't think that's a word. Of the box, it was the <laughs> first appearance, Wonder Woman. Uh, you know, um, Superman got a first appearance a couple of years ago, and now Wonder Woman has the opportunity to get a first appearance. And when I tell you I love this pop, I love what they did. Um, right from the old school comic books, um, this was my first, for the day, New York Comic Con exclusive um, Funko that I was able to grab. And... Um, yeah, she's pretty tight. So we, we love her. Um, that. And then, what else did we get at Hot Topic? We got, oh. actually, I didn't get this at Hot Topic, but this was a shared exclusive Hot Topic. I actually ordered this one uh, online the night before. Uh, my store ended up having a thousand of them, but when I went back later that day, they were all gone, so. Maybe a couple days later, I was back there and they were all gone. Was the Carnage from the Ven Venomized uh, Venom set. Again, back with all the comments. The Walmart, um, Walmart, if, if you can get them, they the Ghost Rider is out at Walmart now. Also, um, 
uh, they have a set they hulks if you can get the hulks they're hard to find like I can't get hulks again for the site which I'm not going to get it until January so if you can get the hulks I finally find mine found one um, you need to get them because they are rare at this point and then um, these all are above value they're all like trending at anywhere from 17 to 22 bucks um, online but there is and this one the difference was the tendrils they made a lot of this guy um, three different versions of carnage uh, but you, yeah you can see the tendrils there um, coming out of his hands but I wasn't too excited about this one um, but only reason I got it was to complete my set um, let's see and last but not least I guess I did get, I get more New York Comic Con than Target. I thought I didn't. But it it, it, start, it ended up being that way. It wasn't how it started. Because I, I bought more, that day I bought more at Target. Um, probably my most favorite uh, pop from, uh, not my favorite box, my favorite pop um, from New York Comic Con was uh, the Killer Frost. Another kind of sleeper. I didn't know this one was going to be um not hard to get but sell out so quickly when i and it glows in the dark so i've seen some where it has the glow in the dark sticker so i'm going to order a glow in the dark sticker for mine um but she does have a really cool blue glow i've already put her in a pop protector um but um, now my hoe and i'll do a set a set video on this my flash set is complete um, even from the beginnings because that it shows like th I guess I got maybe three years ago uh, my friends had gotten me um, a unmasked Barry Allen from the flash but this one was a cool brand I was happy to get her um, and like when I went I think our store had like 15 I was like six in line there and um, when I got to the table, there was only two because Hot Topic was doing, um, they were doing five. They was doing, I don't know why they do limits of five. Uh, they were doing, and there were people buying five, which was, I didn't kind of like that, but you, know, you can't control that. Um, so I was able to get mine and um, was happy to get her. And then that was the last one we got from, um, we got from a, a Hot Topic. So I ran down to GameStop couldn't stay because I had to get to work and I would do a meeting and I said well let me run because I knew Hot Topics were going to have a lot left I said, not Hot Topics like GameStop something like because there was like there's like six GameStops in my area so I said I'll get what I want from there it was only one and I had already ordered them online so I wasn't too worried about not I only ordered one actually one I only ordered one that I got so I wasn't too worried about um, not getting that particular pop so I ran down to Barnes and Noble uh, before my meeting and I was like well I got here late people and there was nobody there I was the only one in the store and this was a sleeper too because on day one there was a gazillion of these and I, I'm, I'm a king of missed opportunities seems like um, they, they, they were still the creators of uh, Game of Thrones on the table a ton of Hermione's there was another Game of Thrones the guy with the, the flaming sword and then this one Supergirl and this is from the WB, well, sorry, that CBS, was ABC, or ABC, CBS, Supergirl, which is taking on a life, as, life of its own. Uh, Melissa Benoit has done well. I've seen them at Comic-Con this year, uh, which was kind of cool. Uh, but there she is, and she is actually flying. So this is like my, this one, it's like my third Supergirl. I have a bombshell. The two different bombshells, the sepia, the regular common, and this one. So I have, this is like my fourth Supergirl pop. So, um, love this one because she's flying. I'm not too crazy about the hair. They could have done the hair better. And, um, we'll take her out. Because, and I'm going to put her in a protector because, again, when I went back to the store the other day, she was gone along with uh, the creators. There's a ton of Hermione's and the sorting hat and, um, the Batabi brothers. Well, I guess the hair the hair looks better outside the box than did inside the box. And I'm glad she's already on a stand. So that is 
pretty cool, actually. So the Supergirl Pop was uh, a sleeper, and like I said, you, now you can't find them um, in stores and or online. Um, but I don't know, like Barnes and Noble when they do exclusives, so this is not really their exclusive, it's a shared exclusive. Um, you know, sometimes they get restocks, so we're gonna see if they restock any of these um, ones that they had for. Our store doesn't need anything but the creators, but um, we'll see, we'll see. Um, so left there, didn't get anything but the Supergirl there, ran to my meeting, and after I was done, I'm like, well, I need to run through, roll through GameStop, even though I had ordered mine because I wanted to make sure, because you know, sometimes you order stuff, that, it, it comes in a crazy box and it's all beat up, but this one actually did not. And I'm glad I got to because on some of these gold pops, um, there's little uh, pit marks uh, on the uh, on the, the the more flat surfaces didn't have any texture there's little pit marks in it so I wanted to make sure I had a good one so there is Shuri from Black Panther with the Marvel Studios first uh, the first 10 years gold treatment uh, another c collection that I said I wasn't going to get but here we are and I have them only thing I need I've complete almost completed my set Thor is on pre-order I should get that this week uh, then Gore uh, Gamora and Black Panther and Ant-Man which are uh, Gamora is coming out this month and uh, Black Panther and Ant-Man are going to be like November and December so crazy but there is Shuri There's another, I just actually watched Black Panther again so I it was I watched it this evening so that was kind of cool so love that pop love getting her if you look on it's pop thing .com, you can see all uh, of the pops I got actually, I've added to it and then also um, all of the um, uh, Venom Pops I have as well and oh I forgot where did it go this was a hot topic one was the ape the, the great ape Vegeta um, I'm not keep this was me getting into the hype of it all I'm not keeping him <laughs> I, I, I'm, I want to trade him for something. I want to trade him for the Chrome three pack of Superman um, from FYE because this is one I just don't need. And um, yeah, so anybody want to trade, let me know. So that was all Hot Topic. And oh, and then I went back to GameStop actually. And because I this was on my mind, I'm like I need it, I need it, I need it because the one that I ordered I did return. And I'm like, well, since I'm returning one, I can go ahead and buy this because I, I was on the fence about this for a minute. But the more I look at it, the uh, the the happy happier I am. I wish I had a different box because the little pop thing is kind of bent that I wouldn't head and grabbed the. Um, the two pack, the two pack of uh, the, the the race between the Flash and Superman. Glad I grabbed that because when I, I'm like that's just that's like a cool pop to have. You know they've done it in the comic books of those guys racing. And uh, if I can get this out without any problems, yeah, we're gonna do it this way. Oh, they have like a little scene from the from the Justice League movie. Remember, they was race, they was like outside. I don't know if that's exactly the scene, but that's from the movie. Um, maybe it might, it might be from the movie. But there is there they are. and another one with um, uh, Superman flying and Flash running. There's been so many versions. So many versions of that. And if you look at the back, you can see Superman's cape is flying behind them. So we like that. That's a cool one. I, I like I like I said, I'm glad I got that one. Because I thought about it. I didn't want to pay 30 bucks, but it is two pops. I think I'm only waiting for one pop to come in. Um, and that is the Jan Brady George Glass one, which I think is absolutely hilarious, uh, and that's why I got it. And I, I've been watching that all week. It's so funny. Not well, not all week, but uh, um, last couple of days because I ordered it and it was still in stock. I don't know if they're still in stock now, but I got it anyhow. And so we did get some mail orders. 
Um, first, we, we'll talk about this one first. Uh, as you guys know, I am a Entertainment Earth distributor. Um, so they let us, I ordered one online, but they did let all the retail, online retailers, order these for their online shops. Uh, so we can also sell the shared exclusive. We did it with Hellboy and they did it with Spider Woman. Great pop. I am loving this. First, this is the OG Spider Man, Spider Woman. It's not Silk. She's not Spider Gwen, although they have the kind of little um, uh, crossover in the Spider Woman books. Um, this is just Jessica Drew, um, one of my favorite um, Marvel heroines. Um, so if you, you, I think I have five of these left on the website. Um, they went pretty fast, but this this pup is dope. Y'all just don't know. Y'all need to get with the Spider Woman. So if you still need fifteen dollars, I haven't raised the price. If you go to itsapopshop.com, uh, she is on there, and she she's remember the old school how she had the little webby up under her arms that helped her glide because she really can't fly. She glides like a spider glides on its web. Um, you guys need to check this one out because it is uh, be, it's one that was hard to get because Entertainment Earth website that night it went live kept on crashing and it took like two hours just to order. So if you guys didn't get it, um, go to itsapopshop.com and grab you a Spider Woman because it's a dope pop. Um, then I ordered this from oh, look at this. I got my Okoye and I didn't think I was going to get this one because when um, when I'm Amazon first put this up, I missed it. And then I was at a street festival when it popped up again and I was able to grab her and I was on top. I had, I, cause I couldn't get a good signal cause there was a thousand people down there. So I kept on trying. I finally got in. I was able to get the Okoye and the, the cool, this is heavy too. The cool thing about this one and you, and you all know is that, you know, this is from the scene when they was in Korea and they the, the big fight brought up uh, started and um, she took off her wig the wig doesn't because the way the pop is built because it's a bobble head you can't get a really good well come on okay you can't get a real good feel of it but there's her without the wig and there's the wig remember she threw the wig at the the guy and kicked his butt but um and then it just kind of Pops on like so. So there she is. That's not right. See, I, I guess I, I could never wear a wig because I didn't get the song right. There we go. Um, so I thought that was that was really original. So I liked that. A lot of people didn't like that because the Professor Quarrel did the same thing. It had a turban uh, on that uh, showed that he was um, Voldemort. So. That was good, but I was happy to add this to my Black Panther Black Panther collection. So now my Black Panther collection is once again complete because I have all of them now. And there is a lot. There's all those. There's the box, the hair from the scene. So love that from um, New York Comic Con. And then last but not least, I've got this mail call yesterday. It's funny. And on the box it says do not open or put on shelf to October the 4th before October 4th so I guess this would have been the shelf at the Funko shop uh, these went live at 9 a.m. Uh, while we were all in front of Hot Topic waiting to get in for their exclusives these went, went up and I was stressing out because I hadn't pre put in my um, credit card information and I was able I did get him, so I was happy that I was able to get this guy. Now, talk about a throwback. Um, Hannibal. This is like the only one from Funko Shop that I wanted was the Jabberjaw. Uh, you know, it should have had a Funko Shop on it, too, because it was an exclusive, shared exclusive with the Funko Shop, but it's Funko, so I don't know why it doesn't have a Funko Shop sticker as well, but... Um, didn't want any other uh, other ones. This is the guy that I wanted. We'll take him out because this is mine. Wow, he's heavy too. You know, people be cringing about them boxes, but <laughs> there is your boy Jabberjaw. What a pop, and I'm glad they made him because. And this doesn't have any flaws. A little, little pink arrow on the 
YouTube, but uh, it, for this to be, let me go right there, but you know, it looks amazing and I absolutely love this pie. So there's Jabberjaw, Hanna Barbera, shared exclusive uh, with the Funko Shop. Uh, he, the fish jump, right? Fish jump. <laughs> Uh, th this one didn't have a little um, little tabs to hold it in for some reason. I got cheap on that one. But, um, so yeah, happy, happy, happy to get old Jabberjaw there. That's very cool. Uh, he'll go up there. And then... Last but not least, we're gonna wrap this up. Walmart has started to put their uh, collectible sh uh, store shops, pop-up shops in their stores. And um, our one of our local stores put our, theirs up on Saturday. And I was able to grab the only black um, Aquaman pop that I'm gonna buy is the Chrome Black Manta. You know, it'd have been really, really crazy if it had red eyes. But it doesn't. But it's all chrome. Walmart exclusive. Um, this is this. If you look, go to it's a pop thing. Uh, dot com on it's a pop thing. T H A N G on uh, Instagram. You can see the the complete pop um, out of the box. So I'm not gonna take them out of the box. But that one. And then the highly sought sought after Ghost Rider, Venomized Ghost Rider. I was able to score him as well. And when I tell you this is a crazy looking pop, it is probably, other than Black Panther and um, Loki, uh, the, those three are my favorite. And this is just, it'd be cool if it was glow in the dark, uh, but this is just phenomenal. You haven't get it, start, start stalking your Walmarts because they are being put out in stores because they're not releasing them a lot online for some reason. Uh, for the like 70 with the first release so I guess once the stores get up you, there might be more but this is the guy to have so that's it that is my New York Comic Con Target Con Wal Walmart Funko Shop haul I'm um, sorry the video is a little bit long 30 minutes didn't mean to do that but thank you guys don't forget to comment like and subscribe tell me what you got um, on your hunts for Comic Con and then also um, don't forget to go to Facebook at Fanatic Funko and like over there like the page and follow us over there and then go ahead give me a like on instagram i appreciate you guys each and every one again everybody who's buying things from the shop thank you so much we have a lot of stuff coming don't forget to get your spider woman i'm gonna see you next time peace